PFSense has been the go-to open source firewall for many, many years. But recently, things seem a little off. There's a lack of updates, the roadmap seems a little uncertain, and there's rumours going around the community. So is PFSense Community Edition dead? Let's break down what's going on with PFSense, what it means for the future of open source firewalls, whether you should stick around or whether you should jump ship. Let's get into this. PFSense CE 2.8.0 is on the roadmap, but it's been sitting there for a while. Meanwhile, PFSense Plus is getting regular updates, performance improvements, and feature enhancements. And that's not a coincidence. Let's be real, NetGate is a business, and their bread and butter, it's PFSense Plus, their commercial firewall solution. CE has always been free, but maintaining it costs time and money. And when you compare update frequency, bug fixes, and security patches between CE and PLUS, it's clear where the priority is. That brings us to the real issue. PFSense CE 2.7.2 is running on FreeBSD 14.0, which reached end of life in September 24. That means no security patches, no updates, unless NetGate moves fast on 2.8.0. On top of that, all core packages are outdated compared to PFSense Plus, and with no clear release timeline, it's only getting worse. But before we call it a lost cause, there is some hope. NetGate's patch manager lets admins apply fixes without waiting for a full release. That means if a security issue comes up, there's a chance to patch it manually. It's not a perfect solution, but it does help, at least for now. But here's the bigger picture. PFSense CE isn't dead, but it's clear where NetGate's focus is. PFSense Plus is the future, and CE, it's on the back burner. So if PFSense CE is no longer the priority, is it time to move on? With everything we've covered, the outdated packages, the uncertain future, and NetGate's clear push towards PFSense Plus, the big question is, what now? Well, that depends on what matters most to you. If you want to stick with PFSense, then the answer's simple, upgrade to PFSense Plus. It is actively maintained, it's regularly updated, and has access to the latest security patches and features. It's clear NetGate is investing in Plus, not CE. So if you want longevity and security, this is the way to go. But what if you're committed to open source software? If transparency, control, and an active community matter most, then OpenSense is your best bet. OpenSense has a faster release cycle, a modern user interface and full transparency. No corporate walled garden. It's a true community driven firewall and for many, that makes it the best alternative. If open source isn't your priority, maybe you just want a solid, well supported firewall for free. That's where Sophos XG Home Edition comes in. Sophos offers enterprise grade security, advanced filtering and even AI driven threat protection, all at no cost for home users. Maybe you don't need a full enterprise grade firewall. Maybe you just want something lightweight, customizable and powerful for home use. That's where OpenWRT shines. Unlike PFSense, OpenSense or Sophos, OpenWRT is designed to run on existing consumer routers, transforming them into powerful, highly configurable firewalls with Linux full control. It's ideal for advanced us users who want to tweak everything, but don't need the overhead of a full firewall appliance. The best part, it's fully open source, has a massive community, and gets regular updates. If you're looking for a minimalist yet powerful firewall option, OpenWRT is definitely worth considering. So what's the best choice? It depends. Want to stay with PFSense? Then upgrade to Plus. Want a fully open source alternative? Go with OpenSense. If you want a free, enterprise grade firewall, check out Sophos. Want something lightweight and customizable for your router, then try OpenWRT. At the end of the day, the best firewall is the one that keeps your network safe, up to date and aligned with what you need. So what's your next move? <laughs> 